Inside the Sea Turtle Hospital in Quincy, about 200 turtles are recovering from a condition known as cold stunning. In other words, hypothermia. Sea turtles like more of a tropical feel, so they like it mid 70s, low 80s. Um, right now, Cape Cod Bay is 49 point, I think it was six from the buoy that was out there this morning. So pretty chilly for them. This big guy is a loggerhead. There are also Kemp's Ridley turtles and green turtles. They've all washed up on Cape Cod beaches in critical condition. So when they come in here, the main things that we need to do is give them fluids because they're dehydrated and then also antibiotics as well because the vast majority of them do get pneumonia. Inside of these boxes are more than 50 turtles just arriving from the Cape. They're now being brought into the turtle hospital here in Quincy to begin their treatment. How do cold blooded sea turtles get cold stunned and stranded? This graphic on the wall shows the migration pattern. Essentially, mainly juvenile turtles get drawn north by warmer water. Then, when it's time to head south, they get trapped by rapidly dropping temperatures and changing winds. Really, the likeliness of why we're seeing so many is just the warming of the Gulf of Maine. For a while there, it was the fastest warming body of water that we would see. Here at the hospital, the turtles are gradually warmed in water. They receive checkups in the clinic before they can be eventually shipped south and released back into the wild. Demand for these life-saving services is on the rise as more and more sea turtles get stranded every year. We moved to this facility in 2010. At that point, our average was about 48 turtles. Um, in the past 10, 15 years, our average now is over 400 turtles annually.